Um, I have a different, uh, of course, I have a, a personal interest in the Spotsylvania Police Department, uh, but I have a different question for you. I've lived in the county for over 20 years. I've seen our county grow, and I've seen actually uh, the equipment and all the other sophistication that yourself and other sheriffs have brought into the county, which I just think is phenomenal. Um, but I guess here's my question for you. I'd like to know, as a voter, what do you see as Spotsylvania's main law enforcement issue? How are you going to attack that issue? And what can we, as a citizens of this county, do to assist you and your officers to, uh, to get past that issue? Now, we, I've been here as well as you and as well as probably some of the others here through the, uh, the Young List Girls uh, situation, unfortunately, the sniper uh, it, it issues that we had here. And as a county, we did very well yes, sir. Uh, as far as uh, some of the things that took place. Well, certainly. But I, I'm just curious as to our county's growing and it's getting huge now. What do you think is our biggest law enforcement problem? I heard you say a while ago that we crime is on the rise. Uh, and I think as citizens, there is something for us to do as citizens that can assist you and your officers out there to help us prevent whatever our main problem in the county is. All right, so thank you. Um, I think probably the issue that, that is, is already on the rise and will continue to be on the rise um, is, is criminal gang activity and the crimes that are associated with criminal gangs. Every gang is not criminal. That's a process that you go through to, by placing proper charges to prove that they're criminal gangs. There are gangs out there that uh, are very well organized and established. There are gangs out there in our community that are loosely organized and established. But I think we need to be mindful of both. And I think we need to continue doing what numerous sheriffs and one chief of police have already established and set aside, and that is the uh, Rappahannock Region uh, Narcotics and Terrorism Task Force that addresses gang issues. Um, and that's made up of all the surrounding municipalities, uh, Stafford, Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg City, King George, uh, the Virginia State Police, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation all have an enforcement component on that task force. That was established by those chief executive officers, our sheriff being one of the spearheaders uh, on that through, uh, bless her heart, when she was still with us, Joanne Davis's office. Um, she saw to it that we got that off the ground and my goal would be to continue staffing that enforcement component from Spotsylvania on that regional task force and maybe even someday with upon agreement of the other CEOs of the area law enforcement agencies increase the staffing on that uh, task force so that each each municipality had more than one investigator attached to it. Um, and it has its own crime analyst where intelligence is gathered to support those enforcement efforts. I think that that's our biggest upcoming issue um, is, is the crimes that are associated with those street gangs. Um, and it, it runs the gamut of everything from burglaries to get stuff to pawn to support the gang to narcotics uh, to support individual habits of the makeup of the membership of the gang. Uh, and all of that fuels the desire to go out and commit armed robberies, strong arm robberies, things that are really uh, found to be disturbing to the citizenry. If you remember here about two weeks ago, um, and for since Feb middle of February until two weeks ago, um, we were plagued with a rash or a series, if you will, of armed robberies at uh, convenience stores and restaurants late in the evening. That quite likely ultimately will probably be tied back to money and proceeds for, for maybe a criminal gang. 
Uh, so it's those things that really plague the citizenry and, and give the citizens an uneasy feeling within the community. I mean, I've talked to several business owners since the arrests were made, and, and they are just delighted that the, those four individuals were taken off the street, uh, in, in their own words, in such a quick fashion. But, uh, you know, it did, that rash did start back in February, the 20th of February, and, and our Criminal Investigations Unit through surveillance just made the arrest a couple weeks ago. So it's those kind of things that, again, will begin to create a, a, a little feeling of uneasiness in the community. I was talking to a business owner just last night that told me, he said, I'll be honest with you, they struck two different times within a stone's throw of where his business is located in a strip mall, and he said, me and the wife were getting concerned, rightly so. And uh, again, those, those types of activities, once, once they get, uh, get going, you know, we, we try to get a, a stronghold on it and deal with it, uh, and we were successful in, in that endeavor. Uh, but, but I think that's where it's gonna have to come from is, is, is the intelligence, uh, watching criminal street gangs, gathering that intelligence, storing it, using it properly, pursuing criminal charges when appropriate, uh, letting the courts deal with it uh, in, in their uh, appropriate manner um, to try and get some of them broken up some leaders and participators in, in prison, and uh, you know maybe, maybe we can knock one or two gangs off the street. How the citizenry can participate in that process? Again, the, the, the best tool that we have is the Neighborhood Watch Program. If we could get more Neighborhood Watch Programs up and running in conjunction with our crime prevention officer and his unit, I mean, that, that is an outstanding program where uh, you live in your community, you know what goes on in your community. You know when something is different in your community. We can come in your community time and time again and we don't realize when that blue panel truck is there that shouldn't be there. But you come home every night and you realize, I've never seen that vehicle before. So then you become our eyes and ears in the community and you educate us on what's going on there and we begin to get enough pieces of the puzzle to put together and take maybe a, a, either a criminal enterprise or, or a gang or narcotics activity, whatever it leads to, we'll assemble the pieces if we can just gather the info. And that's probably the best way to address the last component of your question. That's probably the best way the citizenry can help us.